Hello once again guys, I hope you're all doing absolutely great and we are back once again for a brand new episode of Let's Play World of Warcraft in which we're going to level up our Night Elf Druid and in this particular video, in fact not very far into this video, we are going to ding level 102 because as you can see we're just one bar short of our experience, we're 95% of the way there guys, so good times and I've just picked up the quest to go to the new area and if you can see down here in the chat log uh, Kagar has just said, there you are Blue Deer, over here, Azuna awaits, so yes guys, that is where we're going, and I will tell you the reason why, the reason is that I'm currently levelling up my Hunter too, and I wanted to try and make as much of this uh, Night Elf Druid Let's Play as uh, blind a playthrough as I could make it, and so basically, um, I've currently done uh, Valshara and I've also done Stormheim on my Hunter, so I'm going to go to Azuna on my Druid, and then my Hunter is going to go off to High Mountain, so at least I've gone through two of the zones uh, completely blind with my Druid, so it's been like kind of a cool experience and a first playthrough uh, for this particular series, do you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying, right? Yeah, so, uh, so after this particular zone, then uh, I will be visiting areas that I've already played through already on my Hunter. So yeah, that's basically what I wanted to say, guys. Um, this might not be the longest episode, but it has been a little while since I last got one out. So yeah, at least hey, we're going to have a video out, well, guys. Okay. So we're going to complete this, and then we're going to speak to Kadgar to fly down to Azuna. Trust so, you know should we do that, guys? I think we should. Let's go and fly down there. And we even get a griffin. How about that? So yeah, I hope you're all doing absolutely great, guys. I'm not doing too badly myself. And uh, yeah, it's that cat guy next to us. The yep, it is. The hunters have set up camp on the far side of the island. Perhaps they can help us locate the pillar of creation. Okay, and I read up a little bit about this zone, and it did mention some things about uh, Naga and uh, mobs like that. So that'd be pretty cool, guys. Look there, Naga forces. We have competition from Queen Ajara herself. <laughs> How about that? There are some Naga. So yeah, there are Naga guys. But yeah, I do like... Oh, excuse the frame rate. Yeah, I do love how all of these zones are really different so far. This is unexpected. Yes, this is unexpected, Gaga. But yeah, as I was saying, guys, I know, like, during every expansion, all the zones are really, really different. Um, but... Oh my god, I'm really sorry about the frame rate, guys. I don't know if it's because I haven't been here before or what, but... Yeah, hopefully that will level out. Uh, but yeah, the Val Shara was just so nice, guys. It was so nice. And it's going to be really hard for this game to top that for me, because it was just like such a perfect zone for me. It was just everything that I love um, in Warcraft. So yeah. But we'll have a look at Azuna and see what it's got to offer us. So we'll accept that. And we need... Oh, God, guys, we're like half a bar away now from the next level. Uh, speak with the lead demon hunter at Illadari Stand. Okay. So we shall do that, and there is an, F an FP, a flight path here, I will speak normal English today. Okay, so we've got that, and then we'll head off this way, and there is a hand in here, I believe. Okay, so we're in with all of the demon hunters right now, just chilling with those guys, and they're uh, fighting some Naga by the look of it. So, we've got another quest, yes we have, we've got two in fact. My life okay, reignite the three demon wards. Okay, I will. I will do that. And trap eight demon souls on the Faranar front. Trap them? Oh god, I've got an item now. Right, okay, so... Um, I guess we're going over that way. Yes, we are. Let's leave these guys to fight. Yeah, I haven't even been using... Um, this spell that we've got, this awesome spell, uh, Half Moon, which deals some nice astral power to the target and uh, empowers Half Moon to become Full Moon. It's actually pretty cool. Um, am I using this thing? Yeah, that's one of the wards, so that's been reignited. Oh, it's supposed to be trapping souls, right? Do I have to kill them first, or can I do that while they're dead, or? Yes, ah, so I do have to kill them first, fair enough. Yeah, so let's use that awesome half moon, and then it becomes like full moon. And I think I get three charges out of it, which is pretty nice. And look, just destroyed that guy. So yeah, it's pretty awesome, guys, really. And it doesn't even use like astral power, which I was really surprised about. Let me just look. 
it in fact it generates astral power so that that is a pretty damn nice spell I have to say do I use this thing no I don't use that thing okay oh, I'm supposed to be trapping these guys too well at least we've got quite a few corpses that we can trap I guess so it all helps out in the end so let's make sure to do that because I just forget about things like that come on oh we've got four there oh so it does it in like an AOE like looting which is pretty nice so I will take that, and we shall head this way, I believe, for to uh, the final ward thing. Okay, here is the final ward. Can I trap that guy? Yes, I can. I must have killed him. I don't know if I did or not, though, but we'll take it, guys. We'll take it. How many more do we need now? Oh, that didn't work. So I need four more still. Okay, so I probably do have to kill them. I'm trying to be sneaky there, but it didn't work out. Okay, so we can trap these guys, right? Okay, so we just need one more. Just one more. This one will do. <laughs> Boom! Gotta love that spell, guys. How awesome is that? Okay, so let's go and hand in, and that will, I think, get us to the next level, which will be pretty nice. Pretty nice indeed. Okay, here we go. Kind of like not in a great position right now to ding, so let's go over this way a little bit. Okay, there we go. Are you ready for this, guys? For the next level, what do we take? Not that I don't think. Uh, kind of like not upgrades, but I think we'll take those. Okay, here we go guys. You ready for this? And go! Boom! We've got a rare upgrade though. They're now a 705 piece, so that might in fact be an upgrade. And I've got some crap here. Oh, Pilgrim's uh, Bounty is now on. Yeah, so that is now an upgrade. So I guess we'll take that. Sweet! Okay, so let's hand in the other quest. Okay, we need to work with Alari, the Soul Eater, to compel information from the Demon Souls. Okay, let's do this. Let me... Oh, I was going to dismount, but she's like running off now. And I have to say, guys, the XP does seem to come in pretty fast and thick, because we've just had it in two quests and we're almost a bar. Uh, through this level, so it's kind of crazy. Okay, I'm ready. The okay, I don't know what's happening right now. I can't see because of this damn sludge flesh thing. Someone's a minion. It's being kind of annoying. Oh, I need to do something, right? Okay. Okay, don't. Oh, I forgot to kill this guy now, or. Them before you. Nope, I guess not. Okay, he's not saying anything, which is fair enough. Okay. So now we use this one. Oh dear. Oh, yeah, it's like a boss here now. And this thing is attacking me. I could do with um, some Starfall action, really. I suppose if we kill this guy, it'll probably go away that ad. Yep, there we go. Okay, so that person's dead. Leave Soul Gem. Optional. Okay. That was optional? Okay, well... Oh! I'm gonna take it. I don't know what that has done, but I've taken it anyway. So let's hand that in now. Lord Illidan knows the way. Do, do, do. So I guess we'll take... I think Mastery is still pretty good, right? I think. I think we'll take that one. It's kind of an upgrade. Kind of, right? Yeah, because we get like extra crit, 
and mastery, so we'll take that. Remember, and we've got another upgrade, guys. Holy crap. This is awesome. I just can't even check the right bag. Okay, we'll put that on. Sweet. So, another quest. There we go. There we go. I have okay, find Corvas Bloodthorn on Faranar at Vanquish Point. Do okay. So, that's this way. No Let's go and find Corvas. Oh god, look at that guy. Let's try and bypass him. Okay, so where is this dude? This area does look pretty nice though, I have to say, guys. It's not too bad right now. I am impressed, I am impressed. I'm a friend, honestly. You can totally trust me. Okay, so we need two. Three, six demon hunters from Soul Harvesters, and we also need to obtain Lykil's Key and free Stelagosa. More upgrades. Well, more gear. I will check if they're an upgrade or not in a little while. Okay, so we are in the right area, right? Yeah, so let's go up this way. We are actually like in the middle of a bonus objective, too. So I'm like trying to be careful not to do that. I mean, we can do that, but I just want to kind of stick to the quests. Where are the objectives? What is that one? So let's try and find Stelagosa first, and then we'll like carry on with this other crap. We've always got a shadow meld, guys, if things get bad. We've got a shadow meld. I think we're probably going to need it in a second. Okay, shadow meld. Is that all I need to do here, seriously? No. Oh, so we need to find the key now. Okay, so like the key is over here somewhere. Oh, that mob's got it, fair enough. So we'll have to kill some of these dudes, and they're linked for some reason, which is pretty annoying. And they're also like casting those damn little things that are annoying also. So plenty of annoyage going on right now, even though that's not a word. But it is for the purposes of this video. Okay. Excuse me, I was trying to loot a, a mob there. And you just totally got in the way. Okay, so let's kill this dude. Hopefully it's not going to hurt too much. Let's get our new moon thing out on the go here. Maybe some shooting stars too, guys, just cause. Should be able to, like, yeah, I was going to say, I should be able to cast while moving. Okay, so he's dead. Which is good. And we've got the key, which is also good. So now, we just need to oh, unlock some chains. We need to unlock three chains. Oh, are we, like, free in Stelagosa then? Yes, here we go. Let's do this. I am Stelagosa. Yes, you are. Okay, there we go. Three or three, and we can hand in right here. Now I am going to finish off the warden. Oh my God, more gear. Okay. Stelagosa, no! Come back! Damn. Maybe the back. Let's take the cape, guys. Let's take the cape. No upgrade, though, unfortunately, but it's all good. So now we just need to. Um, free some demon hunters then, I guess. So let's go and do that. Is it these things here? Aha, there we go. I don't know what these dark runes are though. Purify them. No idea what that just did, but... Well, it, pur it purified it, but there we go. I'm free skinning, guys. Me like it, me like it. Oh, we just got something too. Unbroken tooth. I remember seeing some of those somewhere in one of my bags. Okay. Teaches me how to gather broken teeth, which is fair enough. Uh, be free, young demon hunter. Okay, let's find some more. Are there some inside here? Aha, it looks that way. There we go. Yo, dude, and some more skinning, which is always nice. Oh, we've got a quest now. Okay, bring the Stonehide leather sample along with ten additional pieces to Condal Huntsworn in Dalaran. Okay, so we can do some more skinning. Um, 
how many more of them do we need? So we just need seven more of those to complete that quest. So maybe I'll do that uh, before we finish up this video. And we just need to free, yeah, two more demon hunters, right? So, my god, look at that guy. Oh, imp mother. Look at that lady, I should say. Okay, so this one and just one more, I believe. Boom. Did anyone give in? Sayana Nightglaive turned traitor. She joined the Legion. How dare she? So I think there's another one around here, right? So in here, yes. As you can see, guys, there it is. Uh, another one. Yeah, be dead and stay dead. So that is the other quest done. So now I need to kill Nightglaive the traitor. And we get um, another relic there for our weapon and 100 artifact power, which is pretty nice. So let's go and find Nightglaive. Okay, we'll finish this business together. Do your best. Nightglaive has been undergoing some changes. Oh, that sounds great. We are ready for you. They're ready for us, guys. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, where is Nightglaive? Don't know. In here, I guess. No? Hello? Well, Stella Ghost is here, but nobody else is. Hello? What am I doing wrong? We are actually at the right place too, so I don't know what's going on right now, I have to say. Oh, there we go. There we go. What's all this about? Feel the fell energy course through. Oh, we've been expecting you. How is Cadgar? Felsworn Nightglaive, prove yourself. I have other matters to attend to. Yes, okay. my mistress. Please don't hurt me, please don't hurt me, please, please, please don't hurt me. I am more powerful than Do not all of you. If you say so. If you say so. Well, it looks like your health's going down to me, so I don't know what you're bragging about right now. You, and your new you are dead, I'm afraid. I've got some gear there, and it's plate, so that's no good. Um, but, we have just completed that quest, guys. So we need to get right back with Stelagosa, which is pretty cool. So let's do that. And that is optional, but why wouldn't you guys? Free ride on a dragon. Look at that can be allowed to become a fell sworn traitor working for the Legion. We've dealt them a telling blow, but even now the Legion is summoning in more powerful demons. We cannot allow them to regain their momentum, or the Broken Isles are lost. You must come to the Azure Wing Repose and meet with my grandfather Senegos. Okay. So I guess we're going to be going somewhere else, guys, by the sounds of it. And we're back. Okay, let's hand that in. Uh, so, which one do we choose? So, that is Scythe of the Stars, which increases the critical strike chance of Star Surge. Very nice. Increases the damage bonus from Lunar and Solar Empowerment. I kind of like the Star Surge one. Didn't we get an upgrade from that previously, I think? So I don't know if that's like an upgrade for that one or not. I can't remember. Maybe I should take a look. Let's take a look. Because um, we got that one last time. Yeah, Side of the Stars. So we will actually get 
uh, an upgrade on that one. So I think I'm going to do that, guys. I think I'm going to do that one. Yeah, let's take it. Okay, boom. And we've got some achievement progress as far as the questing goes. So here's Kaggar once again. Speak with Kaggar at the Azure Wing Repose. So I guess that's where we're going. So I guess we shall go there now. And that's all the way over there. So I will be right back, guys. I am certain that if anyone can help you find this pillar of creation, it will be my grandfather. Okay, and here we are. And that is Senegos, who was that person's father, I believe. Uh, you know, Stella Ghost's father, I think. I think that's what was said. What is happening here? Oh, not another Dragon Sick, please! Yeah, see, Kagar, I'm allowed to come near. The Dragon said so. Uh, so, slay layworms to obtain six crackling layworm cores and drop them into Senegos. Xenagos's pool, okay. Seriously, they better not kill off another dragon. Okay, so we've got to get some crystals. Oh, there's a flight path here too. Hello, flight path. Okay, so where do we get these crystals from? From here somewhere? So I think it's in here. Who knows, guys? Who knows? Okay, so I'm looking for... Aha! That is what we're looking for, guys. These things, that is what we want. Aha, we got one. One of six, holy crap. Two of six. Yay! So we're slowly getting there, guys. We're slowly getting there. But can we take three of them? If they come a bit closer together, that'd be really nice. Can we silence that one? Yeah. Come on. Come a little closer. There we go. There we go. Now you must all die. Be careful I don't die here, guys. Myself. That would have hurt. Air spike. Air spike does not sound good. Okay, there we go. And we've got two there, which is pretty nice. And some gear. What is that? That is a male piece. So that is also no good for us. Okay. So hopefully that's going to be the last one. And these little things can just die. Just go away. Please, yes, there we go. Six of six, guys. Very nice. So now, I believe we can go out once again. This is the way out, right? Yes, I believe it is. I think I've gone the right way for once. How about that? Yeah, so now we just go over here and throw those crystal things uh, in with the dragon, and we'll see what happens. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? Well, hopefully he feels better, I guess. Senegos, we seek one of the pillars of creation. I know it is here on Azuna. You speak of the tide stone of God. It was shattered long ago. The tide stone shattered? How? I do not know. But I know where the pieces lie. Rest now, Grandfather. You must save your energy. Don't be so eager to mourn, Starlight. Give me this one last adventure. Oh god, he's not going to die too, right? Surely not. Okay, so we'll get the quest from a little cute, like, whelp dude here. 
He actually looks like one that I just got the other night from uh, ICC 25 man. It's like a little frozen whelp type thing. It's pretty cool. Okay, so investigate and assist the visitors in Azure Wing Repose. So we're going to pick up and do that next time around, guys. Uh, sorry if this is not the longest episode ever, um, but I just don't have all night tonight uh, to make this video. But I did want to make something because it has been a little bit uh, of time since the last one. But I do promise you, I will promise you, that in the next video, we will go all the way to level 103. Because I do want to get our druid there, um, but once again, I'm not rushing. And we don't usually rush uh, this series. In fact, we've never rushed this series. And we just like to take our time and enjoy it and enjoy the scenery and just check it out. You know what I mean? Just have a good time. Um, but yes, next time I will make a longer video, guys, and we will go all the way to level 103. Um, I don't think we'll be going all the way through... Uh, Azuna in that episode, but uh, we'll get quite a way through the zone, I think. So yeah, plenty of questing to come, guys, and uh, I can't wait to start leveling up our Night Elf Druid once more, but we did ding level 102 in this video, so that was pretty damn sweet. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Sorry if it's not the longest one once again, but this zone is looking pretty damn cool, I have to say, and uh, once again, we've got a pretty cool dragon. Maybe not as cool as Ysera, I have to say. Uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy that last video too, and enjoyed that cutscene that I just love so, so much. But yes, uh, hopefully this dragon isn't going to suffer the same fate. So, thank you very, very much for watching, guys. You have been awesome for doing so, and I really, really do appreciate it. And I'll be back soon with a brand new video, and it will be at the weekend, guys. Hopefully this video itself should be up on Thursday, and then at the weekend, I'll be back with that longer video, and we will go all the way to level 103. So how about that? Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Take care, behave, and as always, bye for now.